Welcome back. If you're thinking of starting a family, there are some things you need to think about as a couple before getting pregnant. So here to walk us through it all, Dr. Emily Cooper from the Diabetes Institute. Thank you so much for being it's here. It's great to be here. Uh, let's talk about some of the things that couples should be aware of when they're thinking about getting pregnant. Well, yeah, if you're thinking about getting pregnant, it's really about both parents. So it's about both mom and dad. It's about their health, their nutrition state, and also their exposure to environmental chemicals. It's something that often we don't think about because we think about just the mom, mm -hmm. but actually both parents contribute significantly to fertility and also the health of the child because um, exposure to these different factors, the nutrition, the health, and the environmental exposures affect not only our ability to conceive, but also affect our DNA, our genetic code, mm -hmm. which we pass on to the child, and that can affect the child's health. Mm -hmm. Let's talk more about those environmental uh, factors. What, what are the big ones we need to keep, keep uh, well, we, our minds on? You know, when you think about our environment, carpeting, cosmetics, even the air we breathe contain what are called endocrine disrupting chemicals, and those can interact with our hormonal system and actually throw it off balance. And so that can be a big concern. And you think, well, if you can rid your body of them by limiting your exposure, that might help. But scientists have found that actually even very low concentrations of these chemicals can cause biological changes, which is contrary to what we're often told. And so common chemicals like BPA and BPS that are everywhere may not really be safe at any level of exposure. Wow, and that can prevent the pregnancy? Yeah, it not only affects fertility, but also can increased risks of certain diseases like obesity and diabetes, not just in the parents, but also actually in the offspring. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know when I was pregnant, I thought about all these things and flipped yeah. out about all of them. <laughs> but boy, my husband really got off the hook. Yeah. We That's didn't we didn't even talk about the father's role. No. Uh, what what should couples consider when they're thinking about dads? Well, that's the thing. You often don't think about dad at all. But dads contribute significantly not just to fertility, aspects of fertility, but also again to the child's future health. For example, if the father or the mother have a low nutritional state, then that greatly reduces the ability to conceive. And also, if the father and the mother or the mother have low nutritional state, it actually changes their DNA that they pass on to the child. And the child's more prone to storing extra body fat to protect them from this perception of starvation. Mm. Well, wow. So, it's so important. let me just ask sort of in summary, Dr. Cooper, yeah. and also the, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, is it safe to drink in any amount when you're, when you're trying to get pregnant? No. Okay. So well, no well, for, well, when you're trying long. to get pregnant, I mean, it's one thing. But mm -hmm. during pregnancy, no, absolutely so cut that not. Out. Okay. If you're and conceiving. then sort of the overall thing that yeah. we need to take away Well, from again, this. it's focusing on both parents. It focuses on their health, focus on the nutritional state, and the environmental exposure. So when it comes to health, there are certain diseases that are associated with infertility, such as diabetes, prediabetes, and um, insulin resistance. So get screened. But then also, when it comes to the environment, if you're thinking about becoming pregnant in the next year, probably not a good idea to remodel your house or purchase a new car. There is a website by the environmental working group that's kind of a good resource about environmental um, endocrine disrupting chemicals to check out. And then with nutrition, it's really about eating whole foods, mm. not cutting out carbs, not cutting out fats, and just staying nourished and making sure you're nourished enough for your activity. Okay, the environmental working group, that's how we can find that? Yeah. Okay. The environmental working group is a good, a very good resource. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Dr. Emily Cooper, thanks Thank for you. having me. Yeah, good to see you.